application to highlight your expertise and professional credibility that align to the latest um, changes and new features of Oracle products, right? And all 60, over 60 of our certification exams are updated to the latest 2020 release of the products. In a paid subscription, your first attempt on the testing is free on all the certification undertaking offered within your subscription. So which simply means that let's say on an Oracle database uh, learning subscription, there's about 27 certifications in there. Simply means that you have a free attempt on your first, uh, on your, on your first try, a free take against all of those 27 um, you know, uh, certifications. So let's go back to uh, the second type of learning, which is the courses. And the courses are basically a compilation of modules let me just show you a little bit here where the modules are. Uh, my filter is not uh, working, but you know, this is working on uh, the paid subscription, but the modules are basically, you know, shorter in duration, thereby allowing you to gain the knowledge quickly on a particular process. So you can see here, there's about three modules for a total of two hours and 43 minutes. Okay. So with the bookmarking features, you can comfortably stop your training anytime, knowing you'll be able to pick up where you left off when you're ready to start. Okay, so I just also want to show you, um, you know, a feature here where you can use the um, okay, the search box here. So as I key in a word, you know, let's say I'm looking for topics around security, you can see the, um, the tiles are moving around, right? Trying to figure out and trying to um, nail down the uh, uh, specific words and identify all of those courses that are available to me. And so really it focuses my attention or my search towards a focus training that I'm looking for. Okay, so I just want to show you, uh, let's look at the uh, cloud security administration. Okay, um, at this point, you know, you will see this is a learning path. And this is what I meant when I said, you know, this is a collection of interrelated topics. So basically, you'll see a series of uh, courses here, right? So you know how, how hard it is when you find a course that you're interested in, but then you think about is this a prerequisite to something or what would be an ideal um, you know, course to take after I'm done with this? So with the learning path, we took care of all that questions, right? So we're now uh, providing you with a series of uh, courses and we listed it out in the manner or the recommended um, you know, uh, sequence that you need to take them so that it really builds on all of the, um, you know, the individual topics uh, to give you, uh, you know, the overall knowledge that you need to under, uh, you know, to learn. And then you can also uh, launch the topics from here. And then um, the certification that I've shown you earlier, this is where you, um, you're able to take that free attempt, right? So once you're, once you feel you're ready and you have enough um, you know, that you build enough confidence that, yeah, you know what, I think I'm going, you know, I'm going to pass this exam and I can take this. So again, your first attempt on a paid subscription is free. So if there's 32 in a learning library, uh, you get one free take against all of them. So, you know, it's a great way to, you know, test your understanding and really, you know, so that you can, uh, you know, build your, um, you know, you can highlight your expertise and build that professional credibility, you know, that aligns um, to the industry that you're representing. So what I'm going to do at this point is launch a course so I could show you the highlights of the features of the subscription. And then also, as I showed you some of the highlights, I'll also, um, you know, share some best practices that really promotes the personalized way of learning. Okay. So right off, you know, we've got the, um, uh, the video here. I'm going to, um, you know, click on play. And there's going to be, uh, you know, uh, audio on this. I'll let this play for a second.
Okay, and I'm going to mute this at this point so I'm not uh, speaking over the, um, uh, the instructor. But what I wanna draw your attention to is the playlist. The playlist is basically, um, you know, a, um, the table of contents here, right? And so you could, um, you know, it'll show you also the um, uh, amount of time needed to complete this, right? And so if you're, um, you know, maybe just filling up time because of a canceled meeting or you have some downtime, it really helps you to schedule, you know, uh, the timing of your training with this um, timings here. Now, also uh, with the playlist uh, to the right of that is the transcript. And the transcript, I'm going to um, play this along so that you can see it, follows the audio of the video. So as you can see here, it starts to scroll through, right? And so, um, you know, following uh, the audio allows you to read ahead, you know, to gain better understanding um, or, you know, hang back for a closer study of the lessons, right? And so if you're like me, you know, sometimes I like to um, read through ahead of, you know, what I'm about to learn. So that this way, questions starts formulating in my head. And then, um, you know, at this point, I can now, you know, once I'm done with this, I can play the video and watch the instructor explain the uh, through a whiteboard, you know, uh, uh, or maybe applying this on a, uh, on a live environment the concepts of what I just um, what I just read, right? We also included in here, um, you know, a keyword search. And so let's say, um, you know what, let's do uh, CASB was what I'm seeing here, right? So let's say the, the, the acronym that I'm using, use that as a reference point to maybe a topic that you might be interested in to find out where within this module this um, topic is going to be covered. So as I key in my word, you'll notice that on the progress bar, there are now green markings. And the green markings basically, um, you know, identifies where you, my word appears. And when I click on one of the green markings, watch what happens. It moves up the transcript and it also moves forward uh, the video so that you know, when I'm reading through this and I want to watch uh, the video right away, right? I don't have to search for it. I can uh, pause this and then um, play this, you know, really giving me the opportunity to either accelerate my training because I, I'm able to read through and continue on with my training. Or if it's a complex concept, I can hang back, pause the video and read through and digest what I'm reading. And then one, once I'm uh, able to do that, you know, and comfortable with uh, the knowledge that I just gained, I can now continue with my training, either to watch the video or read through the transcript. In those cases, you're really um, not putting up with anybody else's pace, but your own. Again, like I mentioned earlier on the call, we put you on the driver's seat of your own training, including pacing of your own training. You can hang back, you can accelerate, you can get to the focus training uh, when you need it, okay? And um, another area that I wanted to show you is the skills check, okay? So when I toggle the skills check to turn on, the skills check is basically a tool um, that we develop to help you identify, you know, knowledge gaps. Just imagine if you're able to figure out what you don't know prior to taking a training, this would make it so much easier easier to help focus on those areas, right? And that's exactly what we had in mind when we included skills check testing with our subscription, okay? So this is a self-testing tool with the main objective of uncovering knowledge gaps or even areas of proficiency to help a user, you know, not only to focus on those areas, but also allow them to make better use of their time. So um, one of the best practices that I share here is that um, taking the skills check prior to embarking the training helps you uncover the knowledge gaps and skip areas that you've already mastered, okay? And I also recommend that taking the skills check after going through the course to check for knowledge retention. So let's take a look at um, the sample of a skills check testing. So the skills check testing, oh, basically, let me just go back here. 
need work for that. One second. Let me click on one. And let's take a look at the skills check here. So the skills check testing, um, what we what we use or what we employ on the testing are multiple choice, uh, true, false types of statement. OK, so we don't normally, um, you know, we don't really um, monitor how many attempts you take you know, to pass this only because, again, the main objective is to help you uncover the knowledge gaps or, you know, identify areas that you've already mastered. So you see in this particular example, uh, there are half shaded skills check testing here and there's one that is not. So simply means that I have been in this skills check testing before and I have not completed it yet, right? There's a minimum of 80% score to um, pass that. So I, I want to launch one that I haven't been in, in before. Oh, you know what? Let's launch one that I've been in before so you could see, you know? So let's say, you know, I was in here before, but I had to stop my training. No, oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I think um, they're working on the skills, um, skills check um, feature. So I'm sorry, I'm not able to show you, but you know, uh, it'll, it'll basically be, as I mentioned, multiple choice, true, false types of statement on the skills check testing. And so you can uh, continue on um, with those, um, you know, with the testing. So we'll continue on with uh, the next feature that I wanted to show you. Uh, let's see. Let's go work here. Um, just launch that. And that is the uh, Ask the Instructor feature. Okay. So naturally, as we take our training, questions come up, right? So imagine if we took this course in a live classroom setting or even a live virtual class, you know, um, we are confined within the settings of the teaching space and we all know that the real questions come after the class is over, right? So by then we no longer have the access to the expert and we're really left on our own devices to figure out the answer, okay? So the advantage of uh, the cloud learning subscription is it, it allows you it allows you to bring together the best of both worlds, right? The convenience of taking the training when you need it, apply the new concepts in real life conditions, and also have the ability to ask questions as it relates to real life conditions, making for a personalized learning experience. So as I mentioned before, right? So when I click on the um, ask your instructor, it also already identifies which course you're in and where we can reach you. So this is the same email address that we would that you would be receiving the response for, right? And so at this point, you can now um, you know type your uh, question and send it off to an expert. Uh, once you send off your uh, question, it goes into a monitored queue and then field it over to a pool of subject matter experts identified in the course area that you're taking. So for all you know, the instructor that you're watching may be the same instructor that will be um, addressing your questions. So again, bringing the best of both worlds, you can, um, you know, apply the concepts in real life conditions and also have the ability to come back in here and ask the instruction instructor questions about, you know, maybe something that relates to what you're doing and the behavior or the concepts that you just learned. It's not uh, quite a line lining up, right? So that's one of the most powerful um, features that we have here that you, you're able to connect to an instructor. And I'll show you another area here too, where you can connect uh, you know, uh, with uh, experts on a live setting, okay? That's one of them, one of three, okay? And so um, also, let me go back here because I don't see the next one that I wanted to show you. Um, all right. Let me go back. 
So we also have a lab practice environment that we offer within the subscription. And this is basically, uh, let's see if I can find one here. No. Let's go to the database. I know we've got some in here. So most of our courses, uh, we offer um, the same practice environment offered in the on-demand class that you're watching. And let's see. So we make this feature available, you know, to help with the reinforcement of the lessons. And there's so much flexibility around this that, you know, students can decide when they can, uh, when they need a lab. So anytime you see a course it says lab here means that there's a lab practice environment that's available to you for request right and so when you click on the lab uh, section up here you can actually um, you know you're actually entering into a reservation system okay so you can make a reservation ahead of time and um, you know you can choose a week that works for you okay and once you, uh, your uh, reservation becomes available, you have access to the environment for six consecutive, consecutive days, which starts on Monday at eight o'clock and goes all the way through Saturday, five o'clock, your local time. So during the six day period, um, you're allowed to, you know, um, feel free to, to stop and start, um, you know, in building your lab file. So within the six day period, the lab activity that you perform in your practice environment is preserved for that six day period. And with a paid subscription, you are allowed to come back in here and repeat the same lab over and over again, as many times as you feel um, necessary or you feel you need, okay? So you can, um, you know, you can cancel, you can reschedule, and you can um, also, you know, uh, request a lab environment anytime. Uh, we're building out our this feature or you know in some of the cases uh, like in the Java learning subscription I'll show you there are also times where you can um, you know uh, schedule a lab instantly and that what we call an uh, instant lab right so basically here's what it is let me show you So for this instance, the lab, you can request your lab immediately. So when I click on request your lab, right, it will give you an option to build it now or you build it later, right? So when you say build my lab, you'll notice that within 20 minutes, you'll have a notification that we received your uh, request for an instant lab. And minutes after that, within that 20 minute period, you'll get a confirmation that your lab is now available. And within that uh, communication is also a link to your, um, you know, to your instant lab. When you say not now, you know, um, you can um, choose a time uh, when you want the lab to be available to you. Okay. And so uh, we also have uh, enhanced reporting. So you can have, you can see this progress report here. The progress report basically is, um, you know, individual at this point, right? And so it gives you a history of, you know, how many certifications you've earned, how many courses you've completed, what you watch, and how many, um, you know, minutes you've um, collectively spent on this particular uh, library. We also captured the last time that you accessed the subscription and then also present to you the titles that you uh, access towards 100% complete, right? You can also launch your training from here as well. Right down below, um, we'll show you a, uh, you know, a listing of all the exams available within the subscription. As I mentioned, since there are 10 in here, you get one free take to each one of these, right? So if you pass on the first go around, well and good, you, you earn your electronic badge. Um, but if not, then that's the time that you pay for the um, retake. Uh, you also find the uh, certifications that you passed and earned in this section. And you also have the ability to print, um, you know, this uh, progress report 
or uh, you can also email this report. And if this was a, um, you know, a team training, you can email this report to anyone who needs to see your progress. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, we also have group progress reporting. And for a, um, for, uh, a paid subscription, I uh, mentioned also here that we provide overall usage reporting of the subscription through our enhanced training administrator portal. Okay, the tool um, allows you to track certified learners as well. Uh, so you, if there's if they earned a badge, you'll see the names of the um, individuals subscribed to uh, the service, whether or not they passed their certification. And also you can engage new learners and identify users who may need help activating or getting started in their journey. So you can also um, send the activation letters to those that have not activated. So in this sample, um, there are like 10 uh, licenses that was purchased and out of those 10, only five have activated the subscription. And you'll see the names of the five in here, um, you know, of the five users in here. And then if you click on each of the names, you will also see a detailed um, consumption report for each of those individuals, okay? And that's also, um, you know, that's included as part of a paid subscription service, okay? Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the live sessions. And this is one of those enhancements that we um, included. And the live sessions here, when you click on live sessions here, either there or, you know, on, on the front page, we will now be taken to a, you know, um, as a page where you can connect directly with this uh, experts through live events or coaching uh, sessions. So with the live events, um, you know, the experts will present on trending topics, best practices, how to tutorials and exam prep, um, you know, tips and tricks, right? And so when you click on the session details, so we provide you with the timing. Uh, the session details gives you um, an overview of uh, what to expect to take away from this session. And you could also have the ability to enroll. Now, the sessions fill up rather quickly. So if you find a session that you like to attend, um, I encourage you to uh, you know, enroll right away. I'm not going to enroll on this one because um, I'm going to be taking away a seat from one of our students but once you enroll you'll also be taken you know this page refreshes and you also have the ability to add this immediately to your calendar so by doing that you're also able to view right away whether or not you know there's a scheduling conflict and you can adjust your schedules like that way and then once your enrollment or registration is accepted you know um you can um you also get, uh, you know, notifications right away, you know, scheduled notifications reminding you that you are, um, you know, uh, signed up for this particular uh, session, right? So um, there's also, let me go back here, uh, for the coaching sessions, uh, there's, there are two different kinds, right? And this are going to be, um, this is not like kind of like a, a webinar where we can host, you know, or we can accommodate, you know, upwards of 50 or more. Um, most of the time, I think we would accommodate about 20 to 25 students at a time. So that's why it fills up rather quickly. So you'll see here a coaching session on Java SE11. So this are engagement focused on key topic areas. So in this case, it's Java SE 11, right? And it will also allow you to ask questions and hear from other, you know, other students about a particular topic. So, you know, it's, so, it's sort of similar to a office hours, right? You can uh, jump on the call and ask your questions and drop off um, immediately, immediately after that or when you need to, right? And so at this point as well, um, uh, you know, any sessions that you're enrolled, as I mentioned earlier, uh, 
there are um, you know free offers that gives you the ability to evaluate um, you know the quality and content of the service. So these free offerings are limited to view only. Only and so when you see the Explorer free, free training to expand your knowledge, um, and we offer this Explorer free training uh, on SaaS as uh, software as a service, platform as a service, uh, or cloud infrastructure or OCI, database and Java through the Explorer tracks. So the Explorer tracks by following the curated learning paths, passing and passing the the assessment, you earn an Explorer badge. Right, so each badge on that. And so for this one, you'll see there's a learning path for this. And so each badge is a collective of about two to three hours worth. And in this case, this is over six hours worth of training prepared according to real, real world job roles. Right, and so once you've completed your training, Okay, and you'll also see how much time you need to complete this. So there, there just are shorter durations, really. And so once you click on the Java assessment and you pass that, then you earn your badge, and then you can continue on your journey with an in-depth training to earn the, uh, the Oracle certification. So in closing, to view what I've just uh, showed you, you can go to education.oracle.com. And then hover over the word um, training. Okay. And you can click on any of the uh, learning subscriptions that you see here. You can, uh, I think you can do a little preview as well on some of the uh, learning subscriptions here. Database and all that. So this concludes our presentation and I'm happy to take uh, questions. Well, and do we have any questions on chat? I, I, okay, I don't see any questions on chat. Um, Roland, maybe you're muted. I don't hear you. Yes, I'm here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Um, let me check if there are any questions mm -hmm. in the window. I don't see any questions, nor any comments. So I think there is one. All right. Okay. Si, si alguien tiene una pregunta adelante, la puede poner ahí en la sección de, de preguntas y respuestas del Zoom. Y aquí la, la puede poner en español y yo la puedo traducir en inglés para, para Cindy. Así que adelante. I think there is going to be one question. Cindy. Yeah, I, I see uh, from Henry. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Henry. Maybe you're muted. I can't hear you. They can uh, use their microphones, but they can use their chat window. Yeah. And the question is okay. for the analytics cloud certification. He's asking if he just needs the data management subscription. That's mm -hmm. the if, if for the analytics cloud certification, if he only needs the data management subscription yes actually uh the data management is also available yeah you can uh purchase the uh uh you know a single subscription you don't have to subscribe to all of them okay and he's saying that he is not able to find the business analytics cloud services learning subscription uh, that would be, okay, again, um, go to the alt tech. 
subscription. And in here, you'll see data management. And this is available for 2,995. And you can actually preview the content as well. Does that help? I think yes. I mean, that's, that, that would be the way to get into this content. Yes, so, uh, and you've got the business analytics right there. All right. Yes, and there's your certification. Pretty clear. Okay. Okay. Okay, Henry is saying that he's okay. That Wonderful. That <laughs> right. Okay, great. Thank you. Good. De nuevo, si alguien más tiene alguna otra pregunta, además de la que ya se hizo, adelante. Todavía hay minutos que podamos aprovechar a Cindy. Eh, si no, me parece que podemos ir iniciando eh, la finalización del, de la sesión. So I think there are no more questions, Cindy. No questions. I will okay. start sharing my screen. Just Thank you run. very much for having me, Roland. Appreciate it. Thanks, oh, everyone. It was uh, our pleasure. And I will just start in sharing my screen mm -hmm. to wrap up the session. Así que gracias una vez más por haber estado en la sesión. Eh, recuerden que la sesión está grabada por si algo hubieran que consultar después. Se va a publicar en siguientes días, seguramente en un par de semanas. También recuerden que pueden ocupar los servicios gratis de Oracle a través de este QR code, el Always Free, que son una serie de servicios eh, ilimitados en tiempo, pero limitados en, en la cantidad de servicios que puedes ocupar, pero es un gran, eh, una gran oferta de Oracle que puedas tener este free tier prácticamente gratis y sin límite de tiempo. Es cómputo, base de datos y algunos elementos más, pero si quieres probar más servicios de Oracle, recuerda que, recuerda que puedes ocupar este QR code también para... 300 dólares en créditos gratuitos. Esos te pueden servir para probar más servicios. De ok, thank you again, Cindy. We really appreciate your help um, and support for this event. Hopefully we can have you in, um, in the future for another event for LA OUC. And thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you, Roland. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Hasta luego. Gracias.